let's try some more of these log equations here. Here we have one that says one-third log base 9 of x equals 2 log base 9 of 3. Well, in this case, we cannot just drop the logs off because we have actually something in front of the log. So we don't have, you know, our rule says if we have log base A of M equal to log base A of N, then M has to equal N. But we don't have that in this case. We have one-third of the log equal to two times the log. Well, we do have a rule, though, also that says um, powers can be brought down in front as factors. Well, if that's true, then factors can also be put back as powers. So let me rewrite it that way first. So this would be log base 9 of x to the one-third power equals log base 9 of 3 squared. Now this rule does take effect because we have log base 9 equal to log base 9. So our arguments must equal each other. x to the one-third must equal 3 squared, which is 9. Now, we need x alone, though, not x to the one-third power. So I really need this to be x to the first power. Well, the way to do that, then, is to do the opposite and create a 1 here as an exponent. So I'm going to raise everything to the third power because 1 third times 3, remember, power to power, you multiply. We're going to be putting in all of the rules that we've learned up to this point. 1 third times 3 is 1. So this would now be x to the first power equals 9 to the third power, which we'll want to do 9 times 9 times 9, which would be 729. So this is our possible answer. Well, if I plug this back in, in place of x, I'm taking the log of 729. That's okay because that's a positive number. That's what's important. So we have to make sure that that's taking the log of a positive number. Let's try another one here. Here we have 2 log base 6 of x minus 6 plus log base 6 of 4 equals 2. This is a very different animal here. We can't just drop the logs because we've got a log plus a log. But you know what? We had a rule that allowed us to be able to work with logs that were separated out with addition. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that factor and put that right back up as an exponent before I do anything else. So we'll have log base 6 of x minus 6 squared plus log base 6 of 4 equals 2. And now I can work with them. The two logs separated by a plus can be put back together with multiplication. So this would be log base 6 of, I'm going to put this as 4 times x minus 6 squared equals 2. Rather than say this times this, I'm just going to reverse the order there. Now I have a log of something equal to a number cannot just drop the log, but I can change the form, and maybe that would help. If I take the base of 6, raise it to the other side, which is the exponent of 2, that should equal the argument, which is 4 times x minus 6 quantity squared. Now, 6 squared would be 36 equals, and then I've got 4 times x minus 6 quantity squared. <laughs> Well, let's see, here at this point, we could divide both sides by 4 to get um, that squared part by itself. So 36 divided by 4 would be 9 equals x minus 6 squared. And now to get this alone, we could take the square root of both sides to undo that square. So the square root of 9 would be plus or minus 3 would equal x minus 6. And we are running out of time for this video, so we will pick this back up in the next one.